and I think we actually see that here, and we are directly between the triangle, more like here, so this should be the 5k. What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. This is another video coming to you while I'm in Stockholm, so be sure to hop over to my Instagram, linked in the description for any updates to do with that. And yeah guys, in today's video I have a bunch of challenge maps created by pro GeoGuessr players, including one made by Rainbolt himself. Now as you saw in the title, Rainbolt has actually bet me $100 that I can't get a 20,000 score on this map. Obviously that one's going to be the big show for today, but everyone else is competing to make the hardest map they can for me. So far, Kodiak got me to get the worst score of 6,801. And so our first map of the day is by Geography Challengers, a good friend of mine, someone who in real life I'll be chilling with this weekend. But for now, I'm going to play his map. And I've actually got it linked in the description so you can play along with me, see how you go. But let's get straight into things here on GC's map. Okay, loading in here. This is my very first impression. I couldn't actually tell if this is South America or where this is going to be so far. And the carve is of course covered up. I almost considered this might be Panama, but no, it shouldn't be. Very interesting background there. We have some trees here, a bit of a rocky mountain as well. I'm not going to check copyright dates either, at least not intentionally. We have some ferns here as well and maybe a few eucalyptus trees. So this is this is what I'm gathering and it kind of feels quite a bit like Mexico or Colombia, probably Colombia, but that's kind of the obvious choice here. So I think I got to go for something maybe a bit more unique. I know that Geography Challenges is himself a bit of a Mexico aficionado, so I could definitely see Mexico working with this mountain in the background and generally speaking this vegetation. Same time, I don't think I love it either. One thing that's also coming to mind is maybe Peru. Obviously without the compass we can't even check where the sun is in the sky so we can't check what hemisphere it's in. But this kind of silver ferny stuff, I do kind of like that for Peru as well. And of course I do kind of think these are more common in Asia so that's obviously not boding well for us. Yeah, I can't see any bamboo so I think I'm going to stick with my guns on South America here and I think I'm going to alter my guess to a bit of a, uh, a bit of a Peru here. A northern Peru to hedge for Colombia. I hope this is decent. I could easily even see Taiwan or Philippines, anything up here working quite nicely as well. But let's go for Peru here? Where's it gonna be? And okay, well, it's actually in Hong Kong. That makes sense to me. Yeah, quite Asian vegetation in hindsight, but wow, that was a very ungettable round and we got zero points uh, to show for it. So let's hope we can uh, turn it up on round number two here. And here we go. This is uh, maybe a bit easier. I think it looks like Europe to some extent at least. We do though have very dense under vegetation, which looks a bit more tropical. So we're gonna have to glean what we can from the distance here. We have ocean here. Not sure what direction it is. Oh, and we do have land in the distance. There may be a yacht as well. So that's really interesting. I wondered like maybe like an Italian island could could make sense here. We have juniper plant. I'm not really sure where that really grows. I mean, we have them in Australia too, but I really doubt this is Australia. Maybe the very pale road could remind me, yeah, of Italy, of Greece, of something down this direction here. Honestly, if we do see ocean and land nearby as well, maybe that makes islands quite likely or something like that here. Yeah, so I think I might go Greece here. It doesn't seem all that bad. The problem is how very green the vegetation is. That is a bit concerning to me, but ultimately I do think Europe is the play here, so yeah, I'm gonna go for this island here. Let's see it. And okay, that was actually in New Jersey. Wowie. Uh, three points, at least it wasn't zero. Um, we were kind of on point in terms of latitude, but really New Jersey and Greece do not have a similar climate, so I couldn't really be too proud of it. Uh, but let's head over to the next round here. Hopefully this is gonna be a bit better. Okay, this one feels more gettable, but I said that about the last one. We have palms here, kind of coconut-ish palms, okay. And we have a fence as well, and that's mostly what we're working with here. We can check through in this field, just kind of seems like grass. The road is definitely quite brown here. Yeah, I don't know, like, I thought Thailand could make a bit of sense here. Maybe it's a bit too many palms or a bit too, like, densely um, forested here for many places in Thailand. The fence here feels a bit South American. Um, Again, I know GC loves Mexico, but this didn't really feel like Mexico to me, in honesty. And for that fact, I don't really pick where this would be in South America either, so I am definitely leaning more towards Southeast Asia at this point. I think Thailand is a decent guess, even though this kind of fence feels quite South American. I'm also just considering that he already put a Hong Kong location, so I don't really know if he'd make another Asian one. That's also something to consider here. Bro, I could name a hundred countries. GC really did snap on this one uh, so far, so um, I'm just gonna go for a Thailand. Maybe with the palms, we'll go a bit further south here. I know this is a bad guess, to be honest. I just don't really see it with this soil. Doesn't make sense for I'm guessing. Um, and yet, I don't really have a good idea, so I don't think it's Sri Lanka. I'm gonna go for this. Let's see if I correct about it. And it was Thailand. Wow. Or even in Laos. Okay, so we missed the country, get 2,000 points. At least a bit of redemption there. I could have gone out here, um, but that is an insane Laos, by the way. Never, 
getting last there. Oh, you know, the soil was the soil was right, but everything else didn't quite seem it. So very interesting one there. Lots of palms on the Mekong River. Next one here. Okay, this one I think is Netherlands. I think this might be um a national park in the Netherlands, a repeat of, of some kind. Like I've seen this before. Um, I think it's central Netherlands as well. So this one might be like this or something like that. Is this where the biggest hill in the Netherlands is? Or it's something it's something notable here, but I, I'm pretty sure I remember it. And to be fair, it looks nothing like the Netherlands apart from the flatness, but I believe it should be here. Am I right? Okay, no, it is in a forest of some kind here, not a national park. Hey, we pull good points. So I think it's pretty even between Kodiak. Ooh, ooh. I won't reveal what's going on here, but we have very close scores between GC and Kodiak. And this last round is very difficult indeed. So what do we have here? This is a very pale road. It could be Australia this time. I mean, I don't love it because I don't recognize where it would be but it could be. We have like a, a city in the background here. This is very strange because it is dead flat, apart from this little dune here. This is dead flat. I mean, Florida could work here. Alternatively as well, I feel like New Orleans actually may have some places like this where it's like a lot of land reclamation. I kind of like that idea. I'm not all the way sold on it though, I must admit. You know what? I, I, I think I will go for that. It makes enough sense to make me at least feel like, okay, I might get a good score here and it would be an insane guess if it's correct. So yeah, I'm thinking that's like out in these marshlands here if it's there and maybe like all the way venice i don't know this is a very strange place look it looks like a face wow i don't really know where they would have sent the google cars here but it seems like there's no real off-roads that this is likely to be unless this was dregs road um Doug's road so i'm gonna try that let's see if it's correct and okay not too bad there mexico did pop into my mind and there we are wow on a land bridge super interesting we get 500 points um and again correct latitude which is something i suppose and a score of 7412 of course puts gc in second place a great effort if you got more points than me that's very impressive because i knew the netherlands everything else i was pretty clueless on our next map here comes from the pro player salvador also a youtuber you should check out his new portugal tips video very very good video and yeah the link to play his map is in the description. See if you can beat me. Let's get straight into things here. Okay, so I immediately, and we have a Google car here. That's interesting because I immediately thought this looked like maybe the islands out here, which are part of Colombia. Now the Google car would seem, okay, it would seem that we actually do have the Dominican Republic car here, which I mean, I had the right idea, right? So I don't feel too bad that I can actually see the car through the script here. Um, Would I have got it though? The architecture here, I think this would have been a difficult one for sure, especially because the poles are round and normally in the Dominican Republic, you have square poles. This is going to be free points, honestly. I almost think of guessing out here just to reduce the points a bit because I don't think it's quite fair. But ultimately, everyone's playing on the same rules, so I will guess where I think it is. And if we're on a hill, then it makes more sense for us to guess in Santiago de los Caballeros rather than down in Santo Domingo, which is considerably flatter apart from this section. So yeah, I'm going to go there and we can't really tell what direction the city is there, but maybe if we use the sun, we could, I will guess, up in this town here. And yeah, we'll start there. So yeah, basically a perfect score, obviously going to be difficult for him to make the hardest map at this point, but still not impossible. Oh, and we have the uh, Google car again. For the rest of this one, I'll put the big no car script on just so we can't see anything else. Um, <laughs> we're unlucky that we had the two big cars in a row, but yeah, I think I would have struggled maybe to get um, Mongolia here without the Google car, in all honesty with you. The abundance of the trees and this like massive cliff. Yeah, this is tough. I mean, still getting a good amount of points here might be hard. And so hmm, where would you get this? Like rockiness and big mountains tends to be a bit fun the west so maybe a national park like this could have that kind of thing i'm thinking it's more likely with all the trees just to be somewhere up here but i'm i'm not sure where exactly that would be maybe like this thing or something but yeah it should be northern mongolia with this many trees and yeah i'm thinking of just sending this one in definitely an interesting round um and i'm, I'm a bit sad that i saw the car here but that is the way it goes uh, was that one okay didn't look at that one actually but still a good guess and again yeah, we are definitely on track for a good score here next one here we got winter coverage this this to me looks like it might be alaska just by how wintry it is but again without the yule car now we have to consider kyrgyzstan which also has a lot of this snow coverage as well and to be honest i think the kind of the way the mountains are kind of just randomly cropping up feels more kyrgyzstan so this is where indeed the uh the advantage of the google car is no longer with us and we have to really make a nice play here i have to say if it's neither of those places i'm not quite sure what this is i think it's one of the two i do still consider that kyrgyzstan is more likely even though i don't exactly know the road here so if it's kyrgyzstan it's going to be like somewhere right here or here i'd imagine and if we're talking alaska then with this amount of snow it has to be somewhere up in these mountains like right here but 
Ultimately, actually looking at this, this one kind of follows a valley, except in this particular section right here. So I would say that Kyrgyzstan is definitely working better here. And uh, is it particularly winding? Is it a winding road? Relatively, but I feel like this kind of region here works quite nicely. So let's see if we're right. Ooh, I forgot about this coverage. Yes, up on the mountains in Argentina. I've had that before, one point. Okay, so yeah, you can see adding the big script definitely hindered us a bit there, <laughs> one point. Uh, next one here, we are looking at some Scotland action, I thought. Maybe it's completely different though. We have a number of wind turbines here. Could this be the uh, Portuguese National Park? Because you know, Salvador, he does love Portugal. He does love his own country. And I know there's one crazy national park in Portugal that kind of looks a bit like this. I'm trying to make out from the poles. They could be Portuguese, definitely. The rock walls, I mean, it, it's Portuguese enough. I still kind of like British Isles in a way though. Also this pavement, like it would be very strange for Portugal. It feels much more like we're gonna be in Greece or Turkey or something like that. It's just very cold. Call me crazy, but I still, I still wanna try the Portugal idea. Maybe this is completely baseless, but I'm pretty sure it's maybe this one here, yeah. I think that is kind of what this looks like. Nah, but the road doesn't seem Portuguese. This is the problem. In before this would be like Peru or something, but no, the wind turbines should completely make that impossible. I don't know, I, I think it's something Mediterranean or Southern Europe actually, just way up high. And I think what better than to guess Portugal. Even if I think the road doesn't look Portuguese, I'm gonna send it in here. Let's see if I right. And it was Portugal, let's go. Okay, that's kind of huge. It wasn't actually the place I was thinking of, I think, but definitely, oh my gosh, never going Portugal there, unless I actually knew the, the map maker. But of course, if he sent this location to Rainbow, then I think it would have been impossible for me to get. Uh, okay, and the next one here is very tropical. We have like a really tall palm here. There's a lot going on um, in terms of vegetation, very biodiverse. One thought I had is that I've seen like similar rounds on the Venezuelan border in Colombia before. Really though, I think my main thought here is somewhere in Mexico. Reason is we have like a South American fence here. We have a lot of palms and we have like a, a wide variety of like little fruit plants and flowers and stuff like that. I think often you could see such a round like in Veracruz or maybe on the West Coast as well, Colima, something like that here. I think Veracruz, honestly, Maybe it's a bit dry for there, but it really kind of looks like that. So I might guess in like the northern, like Poza Rica area. I think that kind of fits here at least. Maybe even Chapas actually could be like on the Guatemalan border, just some dry stuff down there. The way the undergrowth is very dense here does kind of look like that as well. But okay, I'm going to go for uh, Poza Rica here. And okay, oh, that makes sense on the Brazilian island. Ah, yeah, it was a kind of a Brazilian looking fence, but I really struggled to get that one. So there we go. It was good to turn off this car, the full car for that one. 14,442 though. He actually does manage to scrape out Wolf Trekker there, but with the asterisk that we slightly changed the rules. Now we have a map from Lemon, who is the best Indonesia player in the world. I'm sure they're expecting something here in Indonesia, but you never know. Okay, first round. Is it Europe or is it North America? Is clearly the question we have to ask ourselves here. Here. Ooh, we have a Toyota Yaris here. Interesting. The number plate is very hard to distinguish where it starts and where it ends. I, I guess we have to leave open to the fact that this could be either, though I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a North American style plate. Language here is pretty much cut off, though it's it looks like it says P-A-B-E-V-E. Pabeev? Pabeev? It didn't seem English, though it still could be. And yeah, this is very difficult. What if we were in Quebec and that was somehow French and we were just in a really interesting little national park in Quebec or something. It's not out of the question. I could also see this being like some rare gen two in like Romania or Czechia or something like that. I think if I was just playing a normal map, like no bait locations, I would just go like Belgium or something like that. But yeah, I thought of Quebec and I do kind of like it overall. I do think North America is at least relatively likely. I don't think I'm gonna pick up many points here regardless of where it is. Um, But yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Let us see if we were cooking there. And okay, I thought, you know, I thought of these islands up here um, because we had like fir trees or like um cedars or whatever. I don't know if that's the right tree I'm thinking of, but that does make some sense to me. And I think they might have different license plates there as well. The fact that it's an Asian car makes a bit more sense to me as well because outside of mainland Europe, Asian cars tend to dominate a bit more. I don't know, kind of kind of reaching there a bit, but you know, it wasn't English indeed. Okay, next round here, 115 points deep. It almost looked a bit like Russia, maybe like out uh, in near Vladivostok would be my first instinct here. 
Oh, but looking around, it does feel a bit maybe warm. Have some rubbish here. Very sandstony kind of looking escarpment here, if that's the word I'm looking for. Um, it's definitely a strange Russia if it's there. I can say that much. I'm thinking to myself, did Lemon ask Finbar, the best Russia player, for a really crazy Russia lock? If he did, well, he's done a good job because I'm really not sure. I mean, the amount of rubbish here, it's not typical for Russia. Look, we have a bit of cobblestone pavement here. I really think that has to lean me away from it. That is quite typical in Mexico. And I've been playing quite a lot of Mexico and I think the trees could make some level of sense here. But you know, I'm almost still more team Russia. What about Ecuador? Ecuador could work here as well, I think. Again, a strange Ecuador, but that's also not out of the question. Ooh, do we see some cacti up there? It's really too low definition to say, but if we did, it would change everything. Look at these trees as well. These trees are very like, I mean, they're very strange for Russia if it's there. Look, the pavement would want me to try Mexico, but I think I'm gonna try Russia here, strange as it is. And if it's there, it should be like all the way down here, right next to, I mean, I don't know if they have hills there, but it should be all the way next to North Korea, I would assume, if if, if I'm right. Which at this point, I really doubt I am. I'm just looking at these white trees. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's something else. But I just hope it's not Mexico because I've thought about it quite a lot and I've come to the conclusion like these plants, I don't, I don't think I see this grass in Mexico too much. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try this idea. This is gonna be something crazy. I know it. it's gonna be something wild. Oh, it was Ecuador. Okay, one of my thoughts, I can deal with that. Yeah, one of my three countries. Just the one I liked a bit less for some reason. I mean, Vladivostok on Ecuador is a bit wild. But we didn't see any palm tree, even though we're right next to the ocean, we didn't see anything specifically tropical. So an interesting round, um, but okay. Zero points there. We are onto a bad start here. This one I think is gonna be Indonesia. Knowing Lemon, I think I could just fast send it here, honestly. I don't know if I'm going any anywhere else when I have Lemon making the map for me, but Admittedly, it doesn't really feel like Indonesia that much, at least. Some very dense vegetation here. This this would be Java if it's in Indonesia, I think. The reddish soil may be a bit concerning as well. There's one where I'm really tempted to check the copyright, but I won't do that. Just so I can cover my bases here. If it wasn't in Indonesia, then maybe, yeah, I could see a little bit of Brazil working here as well. I could see maybe Mexico as an outside possibility. Um, Even like Bangladesh, I think is not out of the question, although I still think it's unlikely. But yeah, I think, I mean, if it is Bangladesh, that's pretty cheeky, but I think I would go Indo here and maybe just West Java if it's this very like uh, forested. So let me give that a go. And okay, it was Philippines. Yeah, smart tactics from Lemon going for Philippines instead. Quote me on this, guys. The craziest rounds are always just outside capitals inside the little national park. 500 points, we've at least increased our score somewhat, but we are on track for a very low one here. And here we are on the next round. This is surely Europe. And with this many like pines and the way this field looks, it could also be Mexico uh, or maybe Texas, although Texas doesn't feel too good, does it? Got quite a bit of rubbish here. I'll say Mexico versus maybe Peru versus Europe. And that seems to be ocean, doesn't it? So that's ocean then I'm in deep trouble because in Mexico where I wanted to guess that's not what I'd expect to see. Okay another option would be California. I could see it. I'm trying to locate any more rubbish here. It's just these two I think. Oh no, we do have more rubbish. It feels like a developing country, I would say. This is the problem, playing Mexico all week, everything now to me looks like Mexico. I don't think this is actually there though. Ah, uh, Turkey? Turkey's not out of the question here. I kind of like Turkey with these trees. That would make sense for ocean being nearby, as well as the dryness. I don't love it though. I've got like a little trail here, maybe like a bike trail? I don't know. I don't see where this would be in Mexico. What about Israel? I wanted to say Sea of Galilee, but I don't think it's there. Maybe I will just click Israel here, guys. I don't know where this is. I just hope it's not Mexico. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty convinced it's not there. Oh, like objectively speaking, this is not Israel either, I think. It's too cold. Also, the rubbish is not particularly common there. This one's really got me stressing, bro. I don't want to get less than a thousand points on a quiz, but I don't know where this is. Okay, um, Israel's a good hedge for Turkey. I'm gonna send it in here, let's see it. Okay, it was a Durbant. Okay, 1.4K. I'm actually happy with that on this map. That makes sense, but it's not very gettable either. Um, and so Turkey, yeah. That would have been a better guess, but still, this is fine. In the right region, in the right continent, we can say that. And the final one here, I mean, this is an insta send in Lithuania or something. We have quite a lot of moss on the ground here. This could be North America, but surely it's Europe. I mean, it really feels, it really feels Europe. And I don't think we had a Europe round yet, right? Now, 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 now. I would love to check copyright here. I'm gonna do my best not to see it, but I could see this being Russia. I would have a few places in mind, but if it is Russia, I think Baikal makes the most sense. 
I think he wants me to go Lithuania and this is just somewhere in Buryatia. That's my thought. I mean, can we actually glean any kind of details about fences or infrastructure or anything here? Not really, but I do like it with this kind of like undergrowth on the ground. It doesn't feel very Baltics. Um, if it's North America, that's just tough. I think I'm on board with this guess. I think it actually has a good chance of being correct here. So let's see if I'm right about that. And okay, it was Yakutsk. I mean, we end up with a score of 3,500 and that is gonna be indeed the lowest ever. So that's how the leaderboard stands. I suppose this last round's kind of annoying because I think that kind of like moss on the ground, it is something you tend to see a lot further north here and this is a very wild off-road. I'm really surprised they even sent the Google cars there. I could have sent Ecuador and then I could have sent Turkey. I could have gone Philippines. So th there was a lot of potential there. I normally had the idea down to at least five different countries, but ultimately that is a very poor score. And finally we have Rainbow sending me over a map on his Big Boss 360 account. And here we go. The name is mind blown. Of course we need 20,000 points to get the hundred dollars. I'm not confident that I'm gonna be able to do it, especially on a five map location. It is difficult to get a 20K at the the best of times but we're well, just gonna have to see how it goes here i pray for forgiving rounds so i can get in that money um but ooh, ooh. okay so first round here i know where this is and we have wailu three kilometers away this one is somewhere near tom price in WA, and if you don't know the story behind this uh, round, it's quite a classic in a tournament, one of the Rainbow tournaments. This round flashed up and Rainbow just said Canada for some reason, and everyone bullied him endlessly after that. But this is somewhere along this road, I believe, um, if not along this road as well. So let's just scan it, see if we got enough road coming along. So this is the kind of, let's get a sense of the road here. It is very straight to one direction bends around to another. And then we have Wailu on a dirt road. Might not even be a public road, but I think it is. Um, so let's just get in here, see if we can see Wailu. Oh, I got the feeling it might be kind of this direction here. What is that? Like we could, we could look at different roads. I've given a bit of such to these Northern ones. I think it should be somewhere along here. Okay, I found something that may fit here. So bearing in mind, we've got a really straight section there, which may bend around the same way that this bends here, which would make sense. And we are on the intersection here and then it bends around like that. We should have mountains or hills directly here. Seems like we do have some at least. And then hills the other direction would be further away than they are. So I think this might be the 5K. Now, Wailu doesn't exist on the map anywhere. Seems like this road is completely unnamed, but this is probably fitting better than anything I'm gonna find. And to be honest, a no compass 5K for your boy Zigzag is uh, an achievement in itself, if I'm correct. So I think I'm happy to send this in. It, oh, okay, okay, I think I'm actually right here because we've got one road coming in and another road coming in here. And somehow the maps has detected that this creates a little triangle. And I think we actually see that here. And we are directly between the triangle, more like here. So this should be the 5K. Oh. <laughs> It looks so good, did it not? The, the road bent around the same way. It's okay, 20K is still well alive. We still have the potential to get it, but oh, Wailu Station, it is a named place. That's unfortunate. I was also feeling so good because Para Burdu is a, uh, you know, similar sounding place name, but that is just unfortunate skill issue. Let's see what the next round is. Ooh. Okay, immediately I think this is the Rock of Gibraltar, right? So that would be the Spanish mainland if we're correct about that. From what I can recall, that is the Rock of Gibraltar now. We don't have any other car apart from this one. They drive right there anyway, so it's not gonna help us looking for the steering wheel. Oh, uh, but that looks good. Like it looks like we'd be looking up towards the mainland here. So let's go for the 5K again, I suppose, even though it was so successful last time. Yeah, and that is a big city that we see over there. So presumably if we are looking off to that direction, I I'm really bad at thinking of this kind of thing, but I think we would be more so on this side of the rock, but that doesn't really make sense, does it? It's like, we have to be on this side, and I don't know if we're actually looking at Africa. Are we actually looking at Ceuta there? Maybe we're looking at Africa there. I thought that was probably too far, but I guess all in all, that's not actually that distant. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a go. It should be correct here, I think. <gasps> Rest in peace, Marnie. No, Lebanon, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was like, I was, I thought I was on point there, man. I'm pretty sure I never saw that coverage before. Trevor, 
I thought I could get this, but okay. Let's see if we can at least uh, redeem ourselves on round number three here. It's looking very interesting. I have to say, not much comes to mind here. We have big wind turbines, so obviously Europe is somewhat more likely in that circumstance. This is an airport here as well. The fence is kind of strange. Everything's like cut up really weirdly. Can you see how the image is kind of chopped? Is this the US maybe? Bro, I thought this would be easy. I have no idea where we are, especially without the compass. I can't even tell what continent it is. These trees are definitely coastal. I mean, we already knew that anyway, but definitely the ocean to me. It's painted green at the bottom. That's the European style of doing things. Although I could also see Taiwan. I think I've seen it green painted at the bottom in Taiwan before as well. Maybe that could work with this kind of inlet of ocean. Ooh, I immediately zoomed in here. We have some like, like artificial land and then we have a airport right down the road it's too far away but maybe we should keep looking for the rest of the airports here <laughs> Ooh, another one. Okay. That's an international airport, so could be here. I think these little lakes are too small though. I mean, ultimately I don't think this is Taiwan at all, but I don't have a better idea. And the buildings in the background, they don't contradict it. They more just like don't really say anything to me. So this looks kind of European to me, but I'm going to try Tell Yuan uh, airport here and next to this lake, which seems probably too small. Alas, I don't have a better guess. So let's send it in here and see if we're correct. And oh no, which one is this? Where's the airport though? I don't see the airport, but that's a good guess. Getting the country there is nice. Yeah, this is a, a port. Also, it's just a port with a terminal similar to an airport, I think. So that's a really interesting round. Honestly, getting Taiwan, I'm very pleased with. This could have been good if we got round number two correct at all, if I knew somehow the Lebanon coverage. But let's see what we get here. Surely if we get the next two correct, we at least, you know, we have the excuse, like, you know, we know that we never saw the Lebanon tracker before, but still a bit of work to be done for that. We've got an interesting one here, insulator on top of the pole. That's kind of American style, broadly speaking. Looks like Mexico, Guatemala. We have an antenna here, Puerto Rico antenna, I think. No, maybe not actually. Maybe this is actually like Guam at Northern Mariana Islands. I mean, I don't see the roof rack here if I'm looking at Google Car Meta. So maybe this is Northern Mariana Islands, I think. That would actually make sense here. Would I ever get that without knowing that? Well, I think it's actually gettable. One, we have pickup trucks. And two, we have very, very like Pacific looking, Pacific Island looking like palms here. They're so big, it reminds me more of that area. Anyway, but obviously I have confirmation bias now that I've seen the car a little bit exposed. Um, also, Northern Mariana Islands uses more wooden poles than Guam, so that also bolsters our theory here. I think that's the one. I think we should uh, send it in here. We should go somewhere about as remote as possible here. So I'm not really sure where on NMI that would be, but uh, I will choose to go on this road here. And there you go, three kilometers away. Okay, so obviously 20K is out of the question, or is it? It is out of the question just. Man, we could, we can make it so close here. And this is a very interesting round. I almost thought of Australia, but I don't believe these are actually eucalyptus trees. These are something else. Okay, thoughts that came into my mind. One, a very weird Southern Russia, probably doubtful. Two, maybe a France, like a, a weird France, or three, even Réunion, if we're talking France. But seems like the Google car does not have roof racks. The road here is very dark. It's more like Western European if it's there. Obviously the rubbish makes me less confident than Western Europe though. So a bit of contradicting clues. Trevor is a Cambodia enjoyer. Cambodia is not out of the question here. You know, I could definitely see that factory in. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really have the answer here, I think. I don't think it's Martinique Trekker. I'm pretty sure it's not that. Again, Réunion was a decent thought. I don't think that works either. Could it be like an Italian volcanic island? That's not out of the question. Um, canaries actually, okay. Canaries could be cooking. I do, I think it's too grassy for the canaries though, but the road at least seems good. I'll leave my marker there. Yeah, Italian islands, maybe even like Corsica could work. Obviously Mexico pretty much has worked for any location we've had so far. It's pretty crazy how diverse Mexico is. I think Colombia is actually not out of the question either. It just doesn't seem likely. Chile would just be insane. Yeah, South Africa, I don't really see. Africa itself, I don't really see either. And then Asia. It's always possible, but again, I mean, maybe it could be like Indonesia or something. It's another country that always just could be possible, but I think that uh, Canaries is wrong, but at least a respectable send here. I think it, I think there's some world in which I've somehow identified that it could be there. Hong Kong? Cut myself off there because that actually seems not outside the realm of possibility. Again, I don't like the litter for Hong Kong. I think that will at least make more sense for Canaries, but again, Canaries doesn't really make too much sense either. Costa Rica? That would be crazy. I'm going for here. Let's see if I'm correct about it. 
Oh, Sri Lanka. Not even a consideration, bro. We inside, is it a walking trail here or what is this? Some kind of, it is a road, but yeah, I mean, three really nice guesses or at least two, these two were really nice. And then the rest, not so much. So 20,000 barrier, not broken. Trevor, you can keep your money this time. That was not a good enough effort to be in the money. Definitely saying that much. And there we go. That is the final leaderboard. So Rainbow actually coming out with a very difficult map there. And Lemon's map, the story of the day being the hardest one I've ever played on the series. When I'm back in Australia, I'll be bringing you guys another one of these. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching it all the way to the end. Give it a like if you enjoyed watching me play these. Shouts to Trevor for the banging map. And yeah, thanks for watching. Catch ya.